I'm Debbie Birch, and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Community Affairs, and we're here today talking about a big event that comes up every August, and it's the Queen Anne's County Fair. This year it's August 10th through the 15th, and I have with me Alan Schmidt, who's the fair chairman this year and also in charge of commercial exhibits. Welcome. Thank you. So um, I'm going to ask you to give us an overview of the fair, what people can expect to see if they haven't been there, and if they have been, what's going on this year so they know when it's happening or whatever. <laughs> okay. Well, um, we are certainly looking forward to another big event. I believe we are the single biggest event that happens in Queen Anne's County every year. I, I think and so. we run uh, <laughs> Monday through Saturday, mm -hmm. the 10th through the 15th. Okay. And uh, we have all the community support that we've always had in the past. We have the local Lions Clubs and Ruritans providing food, and we have uh, three or four live bands during the week. And we have all the animal shows and um, rodeo and truck pull and lawn garden pull. So we have all the main things that we've had in the past that have really people seem to enjoy. And and it starts every morning. The shows start like nine or ten o'clock in the morning, and then um, entertainment or whatever the the finale event is each day. So it's still like eight nine o'clock at night each day. So it's a it's a there's a lot of time when people can come out and see what's going on. Um, you you mentioned food, and I know that each night there's a there's a different item that's like the hot item of the night. Mm -hmm. um, well, we have all the, the the big dinners of the evenings. Uh -huh. uh, Tuesday night is the crab cake dinner. Wednesday is the chicken barbecue. <laughs> that's the big one. <laughs> Thursday is the pork barbecue, and Friday is the beef barbecue. Okay. And then in ad in addition to that, we have the normal food that we have every day during the fair. We have things like crab cakes and hot dogs and hamburgers, Italian sausage, funnel cakes, uh, ice nachos, cream. ice cream, milkshakes, milkshakes <laughs> all those fun things. All the good stuff. And then so you can come in, you can come, go to some of the shows, see some of the animals being shown or some of the other events going on, have dinner and then in the evening um, you have different entertainment and I know um, you mentioned there's three different bands or four different bands this year mm -hmm. and um, I, I have a list of them here I had a cheat sheet um, but you're having the Chris Sachs band mm -hmm. which we just had him in the studio a couple weeks ago um, because he played at the Bay Music Festival mm -hmm. and um, very good and then the Bay Country Gentlemen they've been around for a while and everybody really loves them and then the Jones Boys um, now, tell us about the talent show. There's a talent show that happens, is that? Yes, way back when there was a talent show, and then for a period of time it got dropped, and then we had a, a lady come forward who was part of that in the past that really wanted to see it be revived again. So it's coming back again this year on Friday nice. evening. And uh, I guess I'd like to say that that's what makes our fair so successful is the amount of volunteers we have. We have people that have been involved with the fair, they've grown up with it, and then they want to give back and then they in that event then they come and chair an right. event or chair something at the fair and make sure it goes together and that's what has really made us so successful is the dedication of our volunteers can can and can anybody get in the talent show is it open to anybody is it sure. just kids oh, okay sure <laughs> oh that 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 i think is going to be a big one and then you have a dj with karaoke um the last night yes okay um and there's also commercial exhibits there, um, and um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Well, we have about 100 vendors, oh, whether, like I... whether they're uh, commercial exhibits or they're selling food. There's mm -hmm. approximately 100, and they're wow. spread out all over the fairgrounds. So there should be a little bit of everything there for people to see. And, uh, you know, so many of them are very local. You know, right. people working in the booths, it's local organizations, local businesses. And so it really makes for a, a real hometown atmosphere. Wonderful. And um, we, the 4-H exhibits are indoors. You have crop exhibits outside. Um, and they're, they're the outdoor, I guess they're the outdoor crop exhibits. And then you have all the shows. And there's beef, there's swine. Um, swine. What am uh, I forgetting? Rabbits. Horse, rabbits, horse. chickens, <laughs> uh, goats. Okay. And sheep. Did I, I don't know if I said those. So there's a lot to see. And um, what's the cost to get into the fair this year? Uh, Monday through Friday night, it's two dollars. Okay. Saturday, it's three. It's a bargain. Mm -hmm. That's a bargain for everything that you get there and you can see. Mm -hmm. So, well, I appreciate you coming in and um, you know 
come out and see the fair and if you want to be a volunteer can they contact you sure are you always if you're looking for volunteers and the fair guides are out where can someone get a fair guide well they were in the paper the first week of june okay uh, now they're being distributed in local businesses so okay. you may be able to walk into a local business and see them there laying on the counter or go to the fair website uh, for a quick uh, look at what events are going on on which nights okay all right thank you so much thank you very much